how to build silent PC for video editing. Business video is fast growing segment looking for next generation videographers capable address business messages with cost effective production. Green screen technologies allow to significantly reduce costs and limit need for on-site audio recording, what in many cases isn't an easy task. Post-production editing and voiceover is common activity in video production. In larger studios you have option to separate studio from control room. With such architecture there is no issue with computer funds and hard drive generated noise. In case when you don't have option to separate recording room from control room, you need a silent electronic equipment operation, so we come to the point that we need silent PC. Personal computer performance is coming with cost, and this cost is to dispatch generated heat. Most effective solution is to improve air circulation to cool down processor, graphic cards and controllers. It is challenge even today. We need rotation fan, and when fan is rotating it's generating noise. At slow motion this noise is inaudible, but rising speed to 1000 revolution per minute, your microphone is picking it up and it is almost impossible to remove it in post-production. Let us look to passive cooling solution. They are bulky. In picture 1 you can see a large vertical heatsink. It is good engineering solution. Heat has trend to go up, bottom is cool and top is hot. Airflow starts circulate, it works like a chimney. Second example, in picture 2, is Intel solution with a heat pipe to take heat from electronic component and dispatch in a large heat sinks. It is relatively expensive solution, not yet standardized. In this solution, internal temperatures still be high due to lack of air circulation and hot heat sinks. This is typical example of a high performance personal computer. I counted 6 funds including hidden one in power supply. Even with a good quality fan working at minimum RPMs, noise will be audible. Large unit, uh, large hard drives. Only solid state hard drives are silent. Standard hard drives has a high speed rotation disks and moving heads designed what are significant noise sources. Solid state disks are four times more expensive, but there are no options to keep those costs if you aim for noiseless PC. Let us set our personal computer requirements aiming optimized costs and good performance. Small dimensions. Meant to be near monitor on desk, to optimize cable length and easy access to USB slots. Probably I will have dual monitor configuration. I would like to fit in 600 budget, not jeopardizing performance, challenging. Infinite operation with 100% processor load. For video editing, it is important requirement. PC should be able to handle any videographer editing task except 3D power animation. 3D power animation needs external powerful graphic card and in reality it is a different class, computer and price range. Akasa is a Taiwan high-tech company manufacturing thermal solutions for personal computer assembling market. They have unique design caches to thin mini ITX board. This is a really smart engineering solution that allows design silent PC without heat pipes. They have industrial version with dust and waterproof specifications as well, but for our project we don't need that. In reality, enclosure is large monolith heatsink with significant weight of more than 2 kg. By design it can dispatch 35 watts continuous power, but there are one significant low light. Previous Intel series E5 4570T models are dual core processors. It has been fixed in later generation processors, but anyway, there are 30% performance difference comparing to 65W processor line. We are going to cheat system and use 65W high performance processor. Concept is based on processor characteristics that processor average load is much lower than 100% and system operates below 35W threshold. For performance task we will uh, use external large DMA fan operating in low RPM mode. Motherboard selection is important. There are latest Gigabyte thin ITX motherboard, but well addressing majority of video editing tasks, and was developed for, to support 4K displays. I don't film and edit in 4K. In reality only top level commercials and some brand marketing with the high budgets may need 4K filming. In 4K world, filming and editing is more expensive and you need tons of high speed storage to store recorded source material. Today's global web infrastructure is not ready for 4K transportation. Even Full HD is challenge. For next 5 years Full HD is more than enough. 
So, I am designing this PC with goal to edit Full HD. Of course, it will be able to perform standard 4K editing tasks, but you may need more silent storage to handle really large footage. GA H170TN board supports two monitors at 4K, up to 32GB memory, has six USB 3.0 slots for high-speed connection, and compatible with the latest Intel processor family. Be careful, selected processor should be compatible with the socket LGA 1151. Intel latest generation E5 8500 series processors has 6 cores and 6 threads. This is really powerful unit for video editing tasks. I'm going for E5 8500 due to the 30% higher performance characteristics. It will pay back in video rendering process. But you need external low RPM fan. There is one more significant benefit having external fan. Average system temperature will be really low and extend unit life cycle. Specifications and cost estimator. We are talking about hardware only. So enclosure, approximately 90 euros. Power supply, well calculated, 30 euros. Motherboard, 150 or even more. Processor, 180 up to 200. Memory. In current project, I use 16 gigabyte memory, but maybe it is worse to really extend it to 32. Solid state disk. 500 uh, gigabytes, 90 euros. Graphic card, we use Intel integrated graphics. There is no extra cost for that. And external fan, 10 euros. And total system is around uh, 650. If we add uh, more memory, it will be 100 more, 750. If we add extra SSD, then one more hundred, so 850, it will be extreme version. Let's benchmark our project. There is no big difference between E5 series and E7 series processor productivity performance, but price difference is significant. I guess main reason the big manufacturer's marketing and sales strategy, selling premium product with premium price to premium audience. Let us try to find out where we are among those big brothers. I think we are near to power user editing build. If you would invest extra to memory 32 gigabytes and extra hard drive, we are still below a thousand dollars. But we have silent PC architecture with capability to do voiceover at our video editing workspace. Voiceover has significant impact to know-how, explainer videos, education videos and corporate videos as well. It was our main task building this PC and we are almost there. And for those who want to build own silent video editing or just high performance productivity PC, I made simple instruction video to guide you through the assembly process and emphasize critical parts of project.
Dear friends, if you are watching this last slide, I should be proud. It is really difficult to keep audience attention in our overwhelming information century. What to say about this project? It seems simple, but it is rather challenging build powerful silent desktop computer. I'm really happy with the result. Having small footprints, this personal computer is noiseless and capable to withstand 24 by 700% load. I did number of stress tests using Intel developed tests and in the worst scenario it had 30 degree uh, temperature room to TG max, what was set for 90 Celsius degree. Actually, with previous cooling solution, processor was just 10 degree from TG max. So overall performance of PC improved even we using 65 watt processor instead of 35 watts. Noiseless design added only $80 to total system costs. Actually, I did one mistake. Connector was too big to go through antenna hole in caches. I cut it and soldered again. If you don't have voltage regulator, you can use 12 volts fan and operate from 5 volts source. It is close to optimum performance, or you can feed fan from USB as well. Spinning hard drives are noisy, and you can't assemble them inside the personal computer. There is challenge where to store backup files. You can assemble a second large capacity solid state disk, use external USB 3.0 storage, or remote network touch storage solutions. Yes, everything comes with the costs. But in video editing system, a fast hard drive is more important than upgrade from E5 to E7 processor. Good luck with your projects.